a lot of games love to reference their retro inspirations. The bygone days of the arcade still hold a certain pop culture mystique regarding the nostalgic and futuristic alike. But devs only seldom often go the extra mile in order to really take you there within the scope of their own creations. Back to the days of oversized joysticks and wildly awesome neon carpet designs marred with orange soda stains. Unfortunately, these nods to yesteryear are usually meant to evoke a slight grin or maybe a soft sigh of remembrance from the older gamers out there who are currently contending with things like mortgages and grandchildren. Let's take a look at five of my favorite games which really polished those arcade cabinets. When the Helldivers aren't busy defending the galactic front from all threats against democracy, they're pretty much exclusively hanging out on their destroyers. I can't blame them because I freaking love this space too. It's nice and compact, yet detailed enough to appreciate every corner. Well, one of those corners holds the pre-order bonus minigame Stratagem Hero. Here you can practice calling in sequences of stratagems and generally train your brain to punch in D-pad based instructions without a single errant neuron. Though, while the visual and sound design of interacting with this cabinet is great, I can't help but wish there were a little more complexity to the experience. I think you should be able to set up custom lists or a challenge mode in the least. Still, it's pretty damn fun. In one of Naughty Dog's best ever pieces of story DLC, Ellie and Riley sneak out in the darkness of night, reviving a decrepit shopping mall in the process. With the power restored, these two go through all sorts of fun, goofy, and ill-fated shenanigans together, eventually happening across a gorgeously rendered arcade. The machines are all busted, with the exception of one, still aglow with static flicker. Brilliantly, Ellie still gets to experience the Mortal Kombat-style game in her imagination, closing her eyes and working at the controls as Riley narrates her every kick and counter. Down, up, kick. Nice. He grabs you, match, punch, and break through. Hit up, block, and kick for blade change. Block him! You got it! Down, forward. It's a mechanically simple moment, but between the classic 2D fighter music and the frantic, supremely well-delivered dialogue, I can't help but smile every time I reach this point in the game. There's another game with an amazingly well-realized arcade space, and while actually a front for your criminal enterprises, the machines all actually work. GTA V's online mode has all sorts of properties you can buy and manage, and the arcade appears to have some of the best detail of them all. While some of the options are comically simple, with graphics as detailed as, uh, red block and green block, some are actually surprisingly complex, and true homages to cabinets that were known to capture players for hours and hours. Besides, it's better to watch that PvP griefing list scroll on by while you're actually having a little fun, right? Okay, okay, I admit this one is a tiny bit of a departure, but I found Doom Eternal's retro easter egg to be really well rendered. The old school monitor setup, the floppy drives, and of course, the fact that you can play the origins of the first person shooter genre for yourself nearly any time you want. I suppose it wasn't too much to ask that the devs include Doom 2 given it's only about 100 megabytes or something like that, but I'm glad as hell that they did. This classic plays as great as ever, with all the beloved levels and secrets included, and the iconic music hits just as hard today as it did in 1994. When Cyberpunk 2077 first released, its open world was laughably barren of things to do and interact with. The very implication that one day the game would include multiple fully fleshed out arcade cabinet minigames would have made Cyberpunk's many critics scoff in disbelief. Fortunately for all of us, CD Projekt Red felt really bad about all that, so they worked insanely hard to bring the game up to par. Though there are other hidden options, your standard choice is Road Race, with this game being easily located within some of the viable apartments across Night City. While perhaps lacking depth, Road Race has a decent amount of effort thrown in for a minigame, with a bopping soundtrack to match every new level. There's even a side quest which rewards you as you climb the leaderboard, which I totally loved. There you have it, five of my favorite retro arcade experiences that you can find within five of my favorite games. Be sure to like and subscribe for more Freakopolis content, and as always, thank you for watching.